Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for some more uh, Manhunt, uh, what are we playing today? Manhunt Landmark and this is a bit different, this is the one where instead of having to go through the checkpoints in the specified order um, getting one, getting them one at a time instead I now have five of them scattered around the city and I can take them in any order I choose last time we played Landmark we had the position uh, sorry the direction indicator for the um, Oh, there's three of them in a line, quite, quite close together over there. Uh, we had a position system, so no, direction system even. Let's use, try and use words properly, Lawrence. So it would tell the hunters what direction I was in from them, and they used that to to, uh, to track me down and, and catch me. Now we've got, um, they've got a position indicator, like in, in, the, uh, in the, sort of the, the, the race mode, which we used to use for Manhunt Checkpoint. Um, however, it's based on whichever checkpoint I'm closest to. So you can see at the bottom of the map, at the bottom of the screen there, it says shopping centre jump 3 out of 3. So I am currently the furthest away from the nearest checkpoint. So now I can have a look at the map here and I can go, okay, so that's this one here. I can go. I can consider going out to go and get that one. Um, or I can try and get to one of these other ones. There's two more up there. They're very close together, which is a bit dodge. Or I could head down to airport quite quickly and try and get pick that one up because they are clearly somewhere near this, this one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down this way. I'm going to try and make it look like I'm heading for airport, but actually I'm going to go for the um, ghetto church one and try and pick that one up. So let's see how this goes for me. Uh, so that's this way, I think. And I'm going to do it in this um, asterope, which is going to mean it's going to take me quite a long time to get down there. But unlike when we're playing checkpoint with the big circle of doom mode, I don't have a time pressure on me at the moment, except in the... Um, the longer I take, the more the hunters will be around looking for me. The more, the more plans they'll make, and if I head down there slowly, they'll have a bit, a bit more of an idea of where I am. So, I think, I think I'm probably far enough away from them that I'm going to risk jumping and running this red light because I am quite impatient. As, you, as anyone who's been watching this channel for a while will know, I don't really like just sitting around waiting for, um, waiting for traffic lights because it's boring. Both for me and, and for you guys as well. So yes, I'm entirely thinking of you. <laughs> of course, sometimes it is it's a bit more exciting. Like if there's if there are a load of hunters um, around, then sitting in traffic lights can be absolutely terrifying because I worry that they're going to see me. Ooh. That's interesting. So the five um, checkpoints have just popped up on the on the left hand side there, but now it's telling me that the ghetto church is my nearest one, and I'm still the furthest away from it, which is quite interesting. Now, I did have the vague idea, as I said, of trying to make them think I was going for airport. But let's still do that. Let's head down until it pings over to airport and see what they do. So, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to go round that way to get to the airport. I want to go this way. Ah, didn't mean to do that, but never mind. Let's try and get close enough to the airport that it pings over to that, and hopefully then the hunters will run down there, and I can then quickly head back up in towards the uh, the ghetto and try and get that one. There we go, airport loop exit. I'm second out of th three at the moment. First out of three. So I'm currently the closest. So there's Tristan right underneath me now, that's quite interesting. Watch him go past down there. Um, I wonder if Mike's doing the same or whether he's up still guarding Ghetto. If I now head over towards Ghetto reasonably quickly, hopefully I can catch them with their um, doors open. No, <laughs> trousers down, metaphorically speaking. Um, what's the best way to get to Ghetto Church from here? Is it. Oh, is it that way? No, no, this way is the best way. Okay, good. So Tristan's probably now going to come back out again, because he's going to guess what I've done. Yes, here he comes. So he's going to drive past this massive queue and go, hey, there's a lot of cars there. Hey, my position's just changed. He must be one of those cars. So I now need to try and sneak past him smoothly and carefully. And try and get to that checkpoint. And there's Mike with half his car missing. Tristan's still messing around down there, which is nice in that crowd of cars. Okay, I'm going to go because I think Mike's far enough away that he won't see me do this. And there's a right turn along here somewhere. A 
Okay, he's gone far enough away now. I'm going for it. So I can get him around here. Long here. I'm just going to do this flat out for um, an Astro, which isn't particularly quick, but there we go. Got that one. And head round here. So, now I have a choice. Do I go up and try and get those three that are close together? And I feel, in the interest of fairness, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to run through them all and try and grab them one, two, three like that, because that's just not fair. Um, they're, they're spawned in a bit close together, which is a bit unfortunate. But I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to take this. I'll go, so I'll head back down this way. And I'll head down to the airport loop one, I think. I'm in second place for this. I haven't seen any of the hunters go past, which is interesting. Now the question is, are they going to start recognising this, um, this asteroid? Because I've not been challenged particularly, but I have been driven past by hunters. Are you serious? Uh, like, I, I sort of pulled the accelerator without really thinking about it, which is extremely unwise there. No! Let's get out of the car. Ah, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Get out of the way. <laughs> oh, he got me. I, I'm, I'm heading towards airport. I've just got this feeling. Okay. I've had an unfortunate accident in Storm Drain just north of Maze Bank Arena. Second. So he's first now, is he? Uh, yes. So I'm still third. Oh, I'm not heading. See, I, I, I think he went. Um, Past Los Santos Customs? Yes. Oh, I think he's changed his mind. Get oh, he's on the north edge of it. Of? Of the passing from LS Customs. Under the Spaghetti Junction. No, he's not. Mean. He's not under there. No, he's not. And, uh, edge of Arena. Um, he's still closer. Oh, I've just I've gone just first. Gone, I've, I've just gone third. That's the same. Yeah, he's that. Sort of From first to third. Yep. Okay. Get a church second. First. He's first. Okay, second. No, I'm first. Yeah, he's second. Yep. Okay, wow. Ah. What the fuck? There's a lot of cars here by Arena. I have just been around Arena. Yeah. And I've, I've been here a little while. I'm third, so it's n none of them are him. I assume... Yeah, there's you. I'm second, you're third. He's first, then he's closer to... He's first, second. He's taken it. Okay. The shopping centre jump. Oh, that's just the closest one, basically. Yeah. Okay, you go that way. I I've didn't see first. it. I didn't see a car go that way. No, he's actually gone third first over that uh, over that crossing. It's probably taken that one, but... And third airport exit, it's possible. Yeah, he's so he moves slightly towards. Do you go first then? Uh, I I go went straight, first. No, go straight. Okay, That's... so I'm third, you're second. I think it was this one. That car there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Should... Yes. Yeah, that's him. I just can't aim. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again for another run of uh, Manhunt Checkpoint. And we're once again using the um, the big circle of doom method of, um, of, of of finding the prey. And that means, as I was talking as I was talking about in the previous run, I don't know whether you've seen that one, it might even have been in the same video, I haven't worked out how I'm going to organise these yet. <laughs> um, but 
the way it works is that on the, the hunters maps there's always a big circle um, that they know they're absolutely guaranteed that I am somewhere inside that circle. Well, nearly guaranteed that I am somewhere inside that circle. The circle is sort of attached to me with an elastic band which means as I move quickly like this, and this is why I'm moving quickly like this, it drags the um, it drags the circle around, and so um, it sort of will then at this point lag somewhere behind me. And if I change direction like I did then, then it means that the circle will sort of spring past me and go off in a different direction, and it'll carry on oscillating for a little while afterwards. And that gives me a chance to do some Hello. do some th important things like changing car and getting oh. onto and, and and then going on to try and find the checkpoints. So that despite the f and so the, the circle is still going to be wobbling around quite a bit. So I'm probably safe for now, probably. Um, but also I don't actually know where the check first checkpoint is yet, and I'm driving away to an edge of the city at the moment, which is probably unwise. It's probably going to be behind me. Um, but after a f few seconds, it should reappear. It should appear and tell me where it is. Mirror Park South. Oh, I'm quite close. That's really convenient. Right. So, Mirror Park South. That's just through here. And actually, this is going to be a really easy one for me to get to. Um, the question is, are the hunters going to be around? And are they going to be even closer than me? Because they've known where it is for a bit longer. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see how this goes. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, the other thing with the uh, the circle of doom is that it gradually shrinks over time. So in theory, it should it sh I should have about um, oh, I can't remember what we said that now. I think it's about 25 minutes for it to go from, or maybe half an hour for it to go from full size to absolute zero, absolutely zero. Um, and in so in that time, I have to try and get all of the checkpoints. And over time, it'll get easier and easier for the hunters to find me. However, to make things a little bit more um, manageable for me, during that time, each day, whenever I pick up a checkpoint myself, the circle will get five minutes bigger. So I'll get a five minute bonus, 150 meters bigger. And that means that as long as I keep taking checkpoints, what is that supposed to be? Oh, okay. As long as I keep taking checkpoints, I will continue to have some circle to a decent amount of space to hide in. But if I spend a lot of time just sitting innocently in traffic like this he says carefully watching that purple car behind him um, the longer I spend just innocently sitting in traffic the smaller the circle will get the harder the game will get for me the easier it will be for me to find and so yeah so basically I don't want to spend too much time just sort of sitting around like a number team he says making a slight wiggle in his turn there Try and keep my distance about right from this car. So sitting around still is all very well. Um, oh, I'm getting worried about this. I don't like him being there. Cock any motherfucker! Stop sitting there. Stop wasting my time making my circle shrink. Ah, I don't like this at all. I need to run away. I, I, I can't. I can't just wait here. He's, he's going to bring reinforcements along. Maybe I'll do what that car's doing. Oh. Ridiculous. I'm I don't know what to do here, they're just battering me around. Uh, uh. I might see a pink voltage come flying at me in a second. Right, I've reached his spawn point. Okay. Now I'm heading south to actually 
joining the farm. I didn't realise he'd moved south that far. So he's starting to bounce around a bit. You know what, actually, I'm not going to go south of the highway. I think he's he's north of the highway still. I think I should circle the building to compensate. Oh, I've got lots of hostile AI markers around me. <laughs> oh, it's because I killed a guy on a bike. I've got <laughs> a bike gang after me. I'm wondering about this car. Where are you? Um, uh, the, the weird junction on the, for the highway, where you can get from the road up from the docks to oh, uh, uh, the Mirror Park area. Oh, I'm miles away. I'm just going to head to Mirror Park South checkpoint. I think it's probably the okay. sensible thing for me to do. I, I know exactly what you mean. I'm just miles away from the actual junction. I'm like, getting there. Okay, that person is... He's driven so badly, it can't be him. I, I, no, I'm not following that. <laughs> no, a, a di different person, yeah, just pulled in and crashed into another car. At slow I speed, mean, he would easily have avoided shit. it. I am, it is Lawrence. I'm though. very suspicious. This SUV uh, heading east towards the checkpoint now. I'm at, ch um, I'm at checkpoint now, or just north of checkpoint now. Head south and turn west along the road. Okay. First road. Yeah. Okay. Grey SUV. Uh, I don't know. I see you. You see me bullying someone. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's all good. No, 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 no. Was that uh, just a place at the wrong time? I wasn't certain you turned left exactly like the car in front did. Then I, I looked at the car behind and wasn't sure which one of you, which one that one copied. But, and then it was just sort of a, I'm slightly suspicious of this car, and I just kept blocking you, and the circle was still appropriate for you, for longer and longer and longer.